Hey guys, and welcome to Diecast Reviews. Today I'll be doing a review on Alexis Wilson, who's number 6 out of 6 in the Paris Parts Market series. He's a deluxe, and you can see his card art there with a bunch of other junk market dealers, or junk dealers. He's a dealer at the Marche aux Pieces. Marche, or like Marche aux Pieces, I think that's what So of course he sells, it looks like tires is what he sells. Back. The description for the series is Finn McMissile and Holly Shipp will chase a suspicious looking character through the crowded aisles of a Paris parts market. And on the back, you can see Finn McMissile, Justin Partson, Holly Shipp with Electric Shark Device, Jason Hoopcap, and Tom Bay. Um, and this series was actually probably the best one because like four of the six cars were new releases, and then Tom Bay, I think, was only released in like a two pack before. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but, but, but I believe she was only released in a two-pack in, like, 2012 or 2011 with Finn McMissile. And then, uh, Finn McMissile was released a lot of times. He was, like, a peg one. Like, so much. So, so, um, Jason Hubbycap, look for a review for um, him to be coming soon. I can't wait to get him out of the package. And... To finish off my Paris Parts Market collection, that's as far as we're going to get a sneak peek at. That should be coming soon. So, uh, yeah, let's open our waxes up. So here's Alexis out of the package. Very, very nice. She has rusty wheels. So we'll get to that in a second. It says, expression's pretty nice. It's like he's smiling. Has a grill there. Like hazel eyes, I guess you could say. Um, I guess those are supposed to be like lights. And side view mirrors are different. See, one side view mirror is like a typical, I guess, side view mirror, you could say. And then the other one's kind of like a curved one. Kind of like gravels here. So, like I said, the wheel's rusty and the wheels are actually different. Uh, no, they're not. The other one, but, um, they kind of look, they do look like truck wheels, so that's really cool. Like that detail. And you can see the rims are very, very rusty. Or not very, very rusty, but they look rusted. Or they're just supposed to be a gold type of color, but they look to be rusty rims. Another um, spare tire on the back here. Which I believe this one, yeah, this one is different than the other one. And then you can see that this side is actually not the same. Because this side actually looks to have more cleaner wheels. These ones look pretty rusty. And then this one actually has wheels on the side and some rims down here. A bunch of stuff in here that I've, oh no these ones are pretty rusty actually now that i look at them more clear in the thing so you can just look at them and see they're rusty but like you have to look in those little holes to see they're rusty pen but not sure why i didn't notice them um but you can see some more wheels down here these all look no they're different these look to be the same this one is different because this one has like more like slices between them than this one, I guess. And this one looks to be the same as that one. But you can see one down there that's different from all. It's just one of them in there. I can see these are some hubcaps, I guess you can. Like, I don't know what they are. I guess they're ribs or something like that, or hubcaps. It has them like trays or something with a tire stacked on top of them, and, a, and they're stacked on like a crate. Not sure what that holds, maybe some more tires. And there's like an oil can down there. Tires here. These could be, I don't know what these are. I don't think these are part of a tire. They're just like, there for no reason. I mean, they're holding something for all that. But, so he's really a flat bed, but with all the added detail, you can't really tell he's a flat bed. I mean, you can, but with all the added detail when you look at him. You know. so. He doesn't have a license, but that's okay. So he's very, very nice. I uh, do really like him. Now, at the Paris Parts Market, he was working with Justin Partson. Or, he was standing by Justin Partson, somewhere like this, maybe. You saw them, but way in the background. But, um, 
Alexis was like bigger than Justin. He was like this compared to Justin. So he should be, he should definitely be bigger. Justin's about as tall as him. He's by the flat, but he's just awesome. So definitely, I'm not sure why Mattel decided to not enlarge Alexis, but whatever. I'm not sure why Mattel did that, but they did not enlarge Alexis or make him bigger than uh, make him as big as he's supposed to be. So that's unfortunate. That they made him a deluxe, but made him a small deluxe. Now he's really similar to Brett Warnwagon and Paul Oakley. You can see these look the same, kind of. They, where they, it splits into a rectangular kind of shape. There. So spare tire actually looks to be the same. Yeah, the spare tire is actually the same as Brett Warnwagon's tire. And Paul Oakley's. The front mirrors look to be the same. I believe they might actually be both Citroens. I know he's a Citroen, so I think Alexis is also a Citroen. Could be wrong. His mirrors look the same. So I think they're made by the same company, Citroen, but they're just different types of Citroen. These two are the same Citroen. They're a Citroen van, something like that. I don't know exactly. But. So I think Alexis could be also a Citroen because of how similar he is to. Um, Brett and Paul, so, um, yeah, let me know what you think about that, but, yeah, so, thanks for watching this video, guys, and, uh, yeah, I do really h wish, um, they enlarged Alexis, cause, you know, he's supposed to be bigger, right, if you compare him to Justin, you know, he's supposed to be kind of bigger than Justin, by quite a bit, so, unfortunately, but, whatever, Still a very nice one, but um, I do kind of wish he was a little bit. And he's still a very, very nice model. Glad Mattel released him. Fortunately, Paris Parts Market not returning for 2017. But we're getting um, good series next year, like the Piston Cut Pit Crew series, I guess, could replace that. If, 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 if we get new good releases from it. Like, you know, Vinyl Toupee um, Cab and Transberry Juice Cab are being re released. So I guess... Transberry Juice Cab is a new release, but Vinyl Toupee Cab, that's kind of a new release because I don't think he's ever been released as a single before, but I think the expression on them is the same. So, And they didn't give him names like he did with Eric Rodale, so I don't know. Whatever. Um, so, I mean, we unless Mattel just decides to re-release RPM, Crew Chief, and uh, Petrol Pulaski, there's only like five or six cars in the series, that would be like four already, so, you know. Whatever. Hopefully, Mattel doesn't mess up a great opportunity of re -rele of releasing new, like, canceled, um, the canceled Ento Cola Pity, Mood Springs Pity, I think there was a Rev and Go Pity that was canceled, maybe an Easy Idol Pity, because they were canceled in the team set. And, um, hopefully they bring back the team sets for Carson, but I'm just going way off topic here, so I'm just going to end it right here. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and bye-bye.